the Puritines are facing charges two weeks after a Dublin high school student was attacked inside of the boys' locker room on campus. And we talked to the victim and his mom in the wake of that attack. And tonight, she told Andrea Nakano that she doesn't think that those two suspects were the only ones involved. As the police unravel the leads in this case, they are uncovering connections between the victim, the suspects, and a young woman at the center of all of this. So far, there have been two arrests, 18-year-old Gerald Coates and his 17-year-old accomplice, both charged with felony assault. Cherie Barfield has been waiting for the police department to arrest those responsible for hurting her son. These people, the perpetrators, will all be caught and they will all be brought to justice. I'm confident, 100%. And I know they have the evidence. The attack on her son, 14-year-old Dasani Goodspeed, happened in a locker room two weeks ago. These guys come to the locker room and they ask, are you Dasani? Are you Dasani? And they uh, one of the dudes sucker punches me. I stand up, I start fighting back. And they all start jumping. In. The freshman suffered a concussion and a broken nose in the attack, but is doing better now. Cherie just worries about the emotional scars an incident like this will leave on her son. He'll need therapy, though. I mean, it's traumatic, and I don't want him to have lifelong effects from this trauma. Police say a mother and her daughter confronted Goodspeed in the locker room, and shortly after, he was attacked by four people wearing hoodies. His mother, Cherie, feels the mother and daughter are also responsible for the assault. It wasn't coincidental that this mother was on campus. School was out. Um, the only people in that area are athletes playing sports. Um, clearly, in no mother and daughter should be in the boys' locker room, period. The Dublin Police Department released a statement saying that at this time, there is no evidence of the mother coordinating the attack. This is still an open investigation, and they are asking anyone with information and video to reach out to investigators.